Okay, so we've got a, a transformation question here. It says describe fully the single transformation. So it's really important to uh, think of that. So we've got four transformations possible at GCSE. So we either talk about rotations, enlargements, translations, or reflections. So it's got to be one of those, and therefore we look through and we think to ourselves, how has um, A become B? Well, it's obviously not a very enlargement um, because the shape hasn't got bigger or smaller. Um, although an enlargement of scale factor 1 could mean they're the same size, but um, that usually isn't asked at GCSE level. Um, translations means they're going to face the same direction, so it can't be a translation. Um, a reflection, um, well, to be a reflection, it would technically go like that, or it would go like that, and so forth. So it's not going to be a reflection, so it has to be a rotation. So we'd get some tracing paper normally, and then we'd use the tracing paper to decide where the centre of rotation is and so forth, but we can see quite quickly that the centre of rotation uh, must be there and it's rotated 180 degrees, so it's a rotation 180 degrees. Again, you'd normally say anti-clockwise or clockwise, but in this case, if it's 180 degrees, it doesn't matter which direction you go. Um, and it's got to have a centre of rotation of the coordinate 3, 3. Okay, so I want you to describe fully the single transformation. Be careful, it's about single, so we've got to involve just one transformation. Um, and once we know it's a rotation, we need an angle and a direction, and we need a centre. This question then goes on, talks about polygons. Um, we know it's about polygons because it talks about hexagons and octagons, they end in gone, so polygons. And it's about straight sided shapes, and it's talking about regular. So as soon as we see that, we should be thinking of exterior angle. And interior angle. And both of these for a polygon would add up to 180 degrees. Now the exterior angle for a regular polygon is always 360 degrees divided by n, where n is the number of sides. So for this question here, it's important that we work out the exterior angle. So if we think about this one here. So that's going to be 360 degrees divided by the it's an octagon, eight sides. So that's 45 degrees. So that means that this must be 135 degrees. They must add up to 180. Um, so therefore, because it's regular, all of these are going to be 135 degrees. And again, because we've got a hexagon here, six sides, then we're going to do 360 divided by six, so 60 degrees. And therefore, this must be 120 degrees, 120 degrees, 120 degrees. And because we know angles around a point add up to 360, then we can work out where x is. So x is equal to 360 degrees minus 120 degrees minus 135 degrees. And again, it says you're surely working. So angles around a point. Add up to 360 degrees, and when we do that um, on a calculator, uh, should end up with 105 plus 120 minus 135 equals 105, so 105 degrees. Okay, so the key thing about this question was to recognise this is about polygons, it's about regular shapes, um, regular polygons, hexagons, octagons, nonagons, and so forth. Um, therefore, once it's about regular shapes, then we must recognise this little picture here. That the exterior angle is the extension of each side, and it's the angle turned to go from one side to another. And it's always going to be 360 divided by the number of sides, and then these two angles, because they're on a straight line, they must add up to 180. And because of that fact, we can work out the size of the interior angles and so forth. Okay, so that's the end of this paper.